Hello folks, some more Pearl Jam for you today, courtesy of Todd H over at Patreon. He wanted uh, Force of Nature by Pearl Jam off the Backspacer album, if you didn't already know that. I'm going to be showing you both Stone and Mike's parts. There's some cool stuff in it. Stone's uh, parts I'm playing with the 91 uh, and a bit of wah from the Wacko from Jam Pedals. <laughs> Mike's rhythm part two with the same settings basically. Like that. Then for the solo, I'm using the Crazy Tube Circuits and Obtainium, uh, both channels quite maxed out because it's got quite a fuzzy tone to it. So let's kick things off with Stone's part first, okay? So we have a bit of drums for a bar and a half, and then we have this, a lazy slide, two, three, four. And you want the wah to be sort of heel position-ish. So the whole thing goes, one, two. That's it for the intro part, okay? So with the wah off, we have lazy slide there. So two, three, four. I'd use my second finger because you're on the next string up then for the fourth fret there. Then we have two, four, five again. Every other time you don't do the, you don't do that two, three, four. It's just a slide two to four, okay? Subtle, but it's there. Then you have this rundown. So two, four. Pull off though there. And that's that. Mike's part. It's going between a B minor and a D. And he's playing fairly big chords with this rather than just... If you're just starting out, play power chords, which is the root, the fifth and the octave. It's just the bottom part of the full chords. So it doesn't matter if it's major or minor. But um, if you want to do it properly... And there's a little subtlety here, is that you take your first finger off, but you leave your third and fourth, in my case, uh, fingers on the A and D string as you slide down. So you hear that for the last uh, two eighth notes, right? Okay. You play this five times. And then you do this. And then back around that whole thing again, okay? So he's playing this behind Stone's wah part and then it transitions into the verse, Mike's still playing the same thing. Stone just plays like like a B minor chord shape with his wah still on, okay? So, that whole part again. Three, four. I messed that bit up. 12-11-0. While Stone's playing. Again, slowly. I'm just going to do one time of the verse, right? Because otherwise we'll be here all day, won't we? And the rhythm there, don't worry too much about. But essentially he plays... Down, down, up, down, up, and then change. 
down, down, up, down. Now that verse part is basically played three times around in its entirety. The last bar of it, so when you're uh, on the G, Stone plays this, two, three, four, one. So you've got nine, eight, ten. And then you slide your first finger down to the seventh fret. So it's three, four, one. Like that. And when you hit that note, Mike's playing the D, okay? So the next part then, distortion on, is the chorus, which is cool. Um, now, basically you're gonna play. But we're gonna fill that out with some little, little flourishes, little. So let's go through how it sounds and then we'll break it down. So we have two, three, four. The first part is this. So you do down, down, hammer on, pull off. And then an upstroke for the next chord. Let me clean it up. Then change, okay? So you're going to start with an upstroke because you're coming in on the four and. Three, four. And then you can just do a pull off or hammer on, doesn't really matter. Or <laughs> like that, whichever. So we have. With that rhythm. Then you're at the B minor. And again, I'm doing thumb over the top here and I'm muting the A string with these chords. So. But you could play the whole chord if you wanted. But it's just more difficult to do the to do the uh, the sus fours, right? When you're adding this this little flourish in. So I'd recommend that you do thumb over the top if you can. Uh, so for B minor, pretty straightforward. Okay. last rhythm is then we go for this D with A in the bass and that ties in with the drums you'll hear a get get at the end of the uh, that second bar there so we have okay so you just got to change quite quickly Then I think I hear one guitar playing that kind of Eddie Vedder thing, right? <laughs> right. So we have five zero three zero. This is over over a G chord. And you just do seven nine eleven with the open G. So because you're playing. You could play. You could do that, right? So if you just, so if you just do second finger on the third fret on the E, you're going to be muting naturally the A string, and the rest are open. Don't bother with the top. You could just play that. Then wah comes on again. Stone's actually on the fourth fret here. So we have. So again, pretty straightforward. It's um, 
fourth fret. And then you do that little lick uh, as part of the B minor. Then you go around the verse riff just once. Uh, you do these five. Five of those and then. Again with that fill again, straight into the chorus. You're gonna play the chorus around twice this time. Subtle variation which we'll go through. It goes like this. That's the difference, okay? So the rest of it's exactly the same. So all we're doing there is just playing eighth notes once you move down to the A. And again, like that. Then you do it the normal way the second time around. Um, but when you come into this, uh, this ascending run, it keeps going. Okay, so you're going 12, 14, and then single notes there. Let me go into this middle eight part. And around again, okay? Let me clean that up again. So we have, it's an A, and then we have, you could just go straight to the B minor. I'm doing a little hammer on. I don't think they play it, but I just like it. So I've put it in there in case you want it to. So to play it on one guitar, I would let the A chord ring out. So flatten your first finger to play the A chord. Note those bottom parts of the A chord are still ringing out there. Then I would do a B sus2, which is basically like a power chord, but with your first finger flattened. And then hammer on that, um, that D note, right? And then you're gonna do, you could do, you could fill in those rests if you wanted with a little chug on the root of the B. And then a little flourish there at the end, okay? So clean one more time through. Do it round twice. Third time you do this. do that so let's go through that we have um, two three two zero two if you care about that or just go for then we do 12 14 16 17 then we do an F sharp major stone though adds in so you'd have then you go back into the verse and the chorus again and this time we're going to go into the solo now the first part of the solo is pretty cool it goes like this two three four So let's stop there. We have. So it's a full step bend and release. And I'm playing it like that rather than. Just because that's how Mike fingers the, uh, the voicing. So up to you. So we have full step bend and release. Then we do. With this little flourish. And then. Okay, that's the second time round. Pretty straightforward. Third time. You 
got that going on. So the next part you start on the 7th fret. And you're going to do 3, 4... One, two, three, four. And then double stops, right? And again. So you play that three times, and you come out of it with this. the end of it right so again we have <laughs> straightforward right and this little run again seven nine seven ten Race note hammer on, 10 to 12. Bend on the 12th fret, uh, which you hold for two beats and an eighth note. And then you're gonna release and, you know, very mic. And then you finish on the 10th fret there. And that, folks, is it. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.